Hello everyone, my name is Kim. I'm from Vietnam. I'm a student that participating in the EOC program at Old Dominion University. Today I want to present to you about some of the important cultural differences that some international students might trouble with. First of all, I want to discuss about communication. I found out that Americans use a lot of slang, such as eye candies, it's like something pleasant to see, veg out, it's to chill, hype, it's mean you are really exciting, and so many more. And in my opinion, most the international students may confuse with all the slang that they cannot find in a dictionary. Non-American students also struggle with native student accents and their speed. I mean speaking speed. Around campus, there are so many students come from many different states and big diff and speak differently. For example, student from New York speak differently and have different accents than the student come from West Virginia. Most of most of American students are outspoken, out, are outspoken speaker. That means active speaker. They like to express their feeling, talk about their opinion, share their habits with other. They also use symbol creating sentence while they are communicating. I have a chance to interview some of my friends that are native students. They said that Americans don't want to be rude. They just want to communicate faster and save their time. Americans communicate differently than other country because usually Americans like to keep a distance while they communicate. Next, I want to talk about the weather in the United States. The weather in the in America is really unexpected. It it really depends on which state or region that you choose to live or study. Like in Georgia and Florida, it's usually hot. It's usually hot all the time. But like students from like tropical region may find some trouble with because the weather in Florida is hot and humid. So watch out guys. The weather in West Virginia and Virginia and the area around that is usually hot in the winter. It's hot in the summer, I mean, and cold in the winter. And Alaska is cold all the time. And finally, I want to talk about food in America. Food in the United States, the American have a lot of fast food restaurant. For instance, uh, Burger King's, McDonald's, Hardee's, something like that. And most of the foods are is most of the food is really cheesy and salty. The reason why Americans have a lot of fast food because they want to save their time and rush through their eating time. A lot, a lot of other country foods is trying to Americanize their food. Um, for example, Chinese food in Chinese restaurant usually don't taste really sweet and sour. For uh, like the original. The original is not as sweet as the Chinese food in America. Another example is like Indian food. I taste I have a chance to have an Indian food in America and the real Indian food is more spicier. Much more spicier.
but usually Americans have a really good good really good food services and they usually put you on the clock and if they cannot make it in that in the Pacific time they will give you free food such as in McDonald I, I think or Burger Kings okay that's all I have but let me show let me show you some of the website that can look up slang you can use urban dictionary to look up slang oh okay let me put in my username and password okay now Urban Dictionary. Yeah, just type any slang that you know that you don't know the meaning in here. They will show you the definition. Uh, let's see. Kashi. There's an answer. there's like they have so many definition, but usually the first definition is the closest one, like cushy easy pleasant from Audu original Persian word cushy meaning like happiness or ease came to America direct from India something stump stuff like that okay that's all I have thank you for listening have a nice day guys